Hey guys, here's something just to think about real quick for uh, gas blowback pistols. Now, uh, this is more applicable to real steel, uh, but when I train, I like to be as realistic as possible. Um, so, some of the techniques that they use for real firearms, I try to carry over. Our train team, our airsoft team, actually tries to train uh, similarly so that we have at least the familiarity and the efficiency as if we were shooting real steel. Um, and we try to model a lot of things after what Travis Haley teaches and Chris Costa. This is a Travis Haley, uh, based off of Travis Haley video. Um, if you have any questions about it, I can send you the link to his video for Real Steel. Um, but it's pretty cool. This is what I'm going to talk about today is the power stroke. Now, uh, so basically you run out of ammunition or rounds or whatever you want to call it in Airsoft. And um, it locks back. Airsoft guns will lock back as well, at least most of them will if they're gas blow back. So you're in this situation, you drop your mag, you get your new one, you put it in, and then for demonstration purposes, no mag right now. Um, but there's different ways you can do that uh, to prep the gun for the next round to be fired. So you can, sometimes what I'll do is I'll put the mag in and as I come up, I'll hit this slide release right here with this thumb and continue firing that way. Now other ways are you can use this thumb here and actually as you come up to press this here and then move into the firing position. It's whatever is most comfortable with, for you and as you come in you're pushing the gun forward towards the target to sight it and then you're getting your grip. Now I'm not a professional so don't judge my, my stance and my grip too uh, specifically but that's just the gist of it. Now what a power stroke is is instead of hitting the slide release, which can be different on every gun, this is the reason that they talk about doing the power stroke. The power stroke is coming with this hand and actually pulling the slide forward and releasing it like that. So it's another way of releasing the slide catch right here, but it's by, um, it's by pulling the slide back and then letting it go. Now the reason they say that this is more efficient and faster, it might not be entirely faster, especially if you're familiar with your weapon, but if it's a brand new weapon, say I uh, pick up an M9 for the first time, and this, the distance to the slide release, the amount of surface area on the slide release, everything's a little bit different, which could slow you down in the real world, and as well as airsoft, but it's not as critical in airsoft, I, I would add. Um, so, but that is an option. So the idea is that you'll come up, let it go, and then continue firing the same way as if you were to use the slide release here. But um, the idea is that it would look something kind of like this. So you put it in, so and you have your mag, and then you're up like this. Now, that's not um, my fastest, and by no means am I the fastest person around. Um, but if you do it multiple times, especially with your own weapon, you get faster and faster and mag changes should become more efficient. Now, um, if you'll notice that if I do the same thing here, that looks a little bit faster. That's because I know where the slide release is and I don't have to worry about jams as much as if I were real steel. I think part of the concept, some of you guys can correct me if I'm wrong, but the reason you would do a power stroke in order to get the uh, slide to move forward instead of using the slide release is because this is how you clear jams, this is how you do a lot of the basic functions is pulling the slide back this way. So if you've already got your hand there, you can take care of most of the problems uh, you need to take care of as you're firing uh, for some reason if something misfed. Now airsoft, if something misfeeds, I say just quit trying to fire the gun, pull the mag out and make sure that you don't damage any of the hop up or the feed rails or anything like that. Um, so yeah, so there's that one, then I've got my, my M9, um, so you know, it's got the same function, it locks back and everything, but the slide's a little, the slide release is a little bit further forward and it's smaller, and so if I were to come here, well, you see, it doesn't always work for airsoft stuff, let's see if it'll, there we go. The problem is sometimes uh, when this, the, the release gets stuck a little bit, it's not as, you know, it doesn't look as pretty as it could. So then the other way would just be to do the slide release, which looks a lot faster again, so it's kind of disproving my point uh, for airsoft purposes. But that's just what it is if you ever hear somebody mention a power stroke, that's what the power stroke is. For now, just do what's most comfortable for you, what's most efficient, maybe practice both ways for a little bit, pick what's most comfortable. Uh, for me, 
Uh, I don't use my pistol all that often, so in combat situations, mostly it's just one mag and done. Um, if I have multiple mags, then like if I w we do shooting competitions or something, I do power stroke um, just because sometimes they'll get hand me a USP and you got to shoot the USP, um, or and you're used to a 1911 or you're used to an M9, so that's the difference. So if you have any more questions, uh, I'm willing to talk about this. This is just something that I saw that I practiced a little bit. Um, that I just wanted to let you guys know that's out there. Uh, not a professional. If you want to see somebody professional do it, I'll send you the link to the guy who knows a lot more about shooting guns than I do. But thanks for watching. Hope this entertained you and gave you some new things to think about with your gas blowback pistol. Thanks for watching.